the laws of physics as we know them may have just been rewritten. For centuries, flight has been bound by the constraints of fuel, thrust, and energy consumption. But what if an aircraft could fly indefinitely without any external power source? James Clerk Maxwell, a 19th century physicist, laid the groundwork for electromagnetic theory, equations that now hint at the possibility of self-sustaining flight. His equations describe how electric and magnetic fields interact, producing forces that could, in theory, propel an object indefinitely. This is not science fiction, it's a real, working prototype. Meet Maxwell's self-powered aircraft, a machine that appears to defy the very laws of physics. Unlike traditional aircraft, which rely on combustion engines or batteries, this design harnesses electromagnetic energy in a closed-loop system. The implications are staggering. A future where planes never need refueling, drones operate perpetually, and energy limitations in aviation become a thing of the past. To understand why this is revolutionary, we must first examine how conventional aircraft work. Modern planes depend on Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Jet engines expel mass backward, generating thrust that propels the aircraft forward. This process requires constant energy input, usually in the form of fossil fuels or electricity. The limitations are obvious. Fuel runs out, batteries drain, and efficiency is capped by thermodynamic laws. Maxwell's aircraft, however, operates on an entirely different principle. Instead of burning fuel, it utilizes a carefully arranged system of electromagnets and conductive coils. When activated, these components create a self-reinforcing electromagnetic field. This field induces currents that both power the aircraft and generate lift simultaneously. The result? A machine that sustains its own motion without depleting an energy source. Skeptics will immediately question whether this violates the law of conservation of energy. After all, perpetual motion machines are considered impossible under known physics. But Maxwell's design doesn't claim to create energy from nothing. It cleverly recycles it. Through precise electromagnetic induction, energy is continuously redistributed within the system. Losses from air resistance and minor inefficiencies are offset by the system's ability to self-replenish. The key lies in resonance. The aircraft's components are tuned to operate at a frequency that minimizes energy loss. This is similar to how a well-timed push on a swing can keep it moving indefinitely with minimal effort. By synchronizing the electromagnetic pulses with the aircraft's motion, the system maintains stability. Early tests were riddled with failures, uncontrolled oscillations, energy leaks, and sudden shutdowns. But after years of refinement, the latest prototype achieves stable, sustained flight. The breakthrough came when engineers discovered a way to amplify the inductive feedback loop. By stacking multiple coil layers and optimizing magnet placement, they achieved near-perfect energy recapture. The aircraft's first successful hover was a moment of stunned silence in the lab. It wasn't supposed to work, at least not according to mainstream physics. Yet there it was, hovering silently, with no visible means of propulsion. The next challenge was forward motion. Could it fly like a traditional aircraft? After adjusting the field geometry, the team achieved controlled horizontal movement. The aircraft glided effortlessly, as if carried by an invisible force. High-speed cameras confirmed no exhaust, no propellers, no conventional thrust. Instead, the electromagnetic fields themselves were warping in a way that produced directional force. This phenomenon aligns with theoretical predictions from modified Maxwell equations. Certain configurations of electromagnetic fields can create asymmetrical forces, effectively pushing against the surrounding space. Mainstream physics has long dismissed such ideas as fringe science. But the live demo proves otherwise this is real, measurable, and repeatable. Critics argue that hidden energy sources or measurement errors must be at play. Yet independent verification has confirmed the results. The aircraft operates in a vacuum, eliminating air-based propulsion tricks. Power measurements show no external input once the initial charge is applied. The implications extend far beyond aviation. This could revolutionize energy generation. If a machine can sustain its own motion, could it also power other devices? The answer, surprisingly, is yes. 
Preliminary tests show that excess energy can be tapped without destabilizing the system. This opens the door to self-powered generators, vehicles, and even spacecraft. Imagine a satellite that never runs out of power, or a car that drives indefinitely. The potential is limitless, but so are the challenges. Scaling the technology for larger aircraft remains a hurdle. Current prototypes are small, lightweight, and highly sensitive to external interference. Weather, electromagnetic noise, and structural vibrations can disrupt the delicate balance. Engineers are working on shielding and stabilization mechanisms to address these issues. Another concern is energy density. While the system recycles energy, initial startup requires a significant charge. Optimizing this process is crucial for practical applications. Despite these hurdles, the progress is undeniable. The scientific community is divided. Some hail it as a breakthrough, others dismiss it as an anomaly. But one thing is certain, Maxwell's self-powered aircraft challenges everything we thought we knew about physics. If this technology proves viable, it could redefine transportation, energy, and even our understanding of the universe. The next step, public demonstrations and peer-reviewed validation. The team plans to release full technical specifications for independent replication. Only through rigorous testing will the truth be known. But for now, the impossible has become possible. A self-flying aircraft with no fuel, no emissions, and no limits. This is not the future, it's happening today. We dive deeper into the live demo, analyze the data, and explore what this means for the future of aviation. What do you think? Is this the dawn of a new era, or is there a catch? And if you're fascinated by cutting-edge science, check out our video on revolutionary energy technologies that could change the world. The moment of truth has arrived, Maxwell's self-powered aircraft is about to take flight in front of a live audience. Scientists, engineers, and skeptics gather in a tightly controlled lab, awaiting what could be a historic demonstration. The aircraft, a sleek, disc-shaped prototype, sits motionless on a neutral platform. Its surface is lined with intricate patterns of copper coils and neodymium magnets. There are no visible engines, no propellers, no exhaust ports, just a smooth, enigmatic design. The lead engineer steps forward to explain the final safety checks. Every component has been tested, every variable accounted for. The team has run hundreds of simulations, but this is the first public live test. A hush falls over the room as the countdown begins. 3, 2, 1, activation. A faint hum fills the air as the electromagnetic systems power up. Sensors display a rapid buildup of energy within the craft's core. Then, without warning, the aircraft lifts off. It ascends smoothly, hovering at one meter as if held by invisible strings. Gasps erupt from the crowd. This shouldn't be possible. The aircraft remains perfectly stable. No wobbling, no drift, just steady levitation. Next comes the real test, controlled movement. The engineer inputs a command, and the craft glides forward effortlessly. It banks left, then right, responding precisely to directional changes. High-speed cameras and laser tracking confirm no external forces are acting on it. The aircraft is propelling itself using only its internal electromagnetic system. Data screens show the energy loop in real time. Input and output are nearly balanced. Minor losses are offset by the system's self-correcting resonance. This isn't just levitation. It's sustained, self-powered flight. The implications are staggering. If this technology scales, it could render fossil-fueled engines obsolete. No more emissions, no more fuel costs, just clean, limitless flight. But how does it actually work? The secret lies in the precise arrangement of magnets and coils. When energized, the coils generate alternating magnetic fields. These fields interact with the permanent magnets, creating a push-pull effect. Normally, such a system would stabilize or cancel itself out. But Maxwell's design introduces a critical asymmetry. By carefully timing the field oscillations, the aircraft creates a net directional force. Think of it like a swimmer doing a perfectly timed stroke. Each movement propels them forward. In this case, the swimmer is the electromagnetic field itself. The aircraft essentially surfs on its own self-generated wave of energy. 
This principle has been theorized for decades but never successfully implemented. Previous attempts failed due to energy losses or unstable feedback loops. The breakthrough came when engineers discovered a way to trap the energy within the system. By using superconducting materials at critical temperatures, resistance is nearly eliminated. This allows the energy to circulate with minimal loss, sustaining the flight indefinitely. Of course, nothing is perfect. Tiny inefficiencies still exist. Over time, even the best system would degrade without a minimal external input. But the aircraft's current design can operate for weeks on a single initial charge. Future iterations aim to extend this to years or even decades. The live demo continues as the aircraft performs complex maneuvers. It loops, rolls, and even stops midair with pinpoint. Precision. Each movement is controlled by slight adjustments to the electromagnetic fields. There's no traditional control surface, no ailerons, no rudders, just pure field manipulation. This opens up incredible possibilities for aerospace design. Without the need for heavy engines or fuel tanks, aircraft could be lighter and more agile. Structures could be optimized for efficiency rather than propulsion constraints. The military is already showing interest. Imagine drones that never need to land. Space agencies are equally intrigued. Could this technology enable frictionless propulsion in a vacuum? Early calculations suggest yes, with some modifications. In space, where there's no air resistance, the system could operate even more efficiently. This could lead to spacecraft that accelerate continuously without fuel. Interplanetary travel would become faster and more feasible. But back to the demo, the aircraft now enters its final phase. The engineers prepare to land it safely after an uninterrupted 30-minute flight. Gently, the craft descends, touching down with barely a sound. The room erupts in applause. This is a milestone in human innovation. Yet challenges remain. Scaling up for passenger or cargo transport won't be easy. Larger systems introduce complex stability issues. Thermal management is another concern. Superconductors require extreme cooling. Material science must advance to make this viable for mass production. Regulatory hurdles will also be significant. Aviation authorities have strict safety standards for new propulsion methods. Proving the reliability of self-powered flight will take years of testing. Public acceptance is another factor. People are wary of too-good-to-be-true claims. Skeptics demand more data, more independent verification and their right to extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The team acknowledges this and pledges full transparency. All research data will be published for peer review. Patent applications are already underway, but the goal is collaboration, not secrecy. The potential benefits to humanity outweigh any proprietary interests. Imagine a world where energy is no longer a limiting factor, where transportation is clean, silent, and limitless, where remote areas have access to perpetual power sources. This isn't just about flying, it's about redefining civilization's relationship with energy. As the demo concludes, the team reflects on the journey. Decades of theoretical work, countless failed prototypes, relentless skepticism. But persistence has paid off, the impossible is now real. Maxwell's equations, once purely abstract, have manifested in tangible, revolutionary technology. The live demo is just the beginning. Next steps include public test flights, partnerships with aerospace firms, and government collaborations. The road ahead is long, but the destination is worth it. What do you think will self-powered flight change the world? Or are there still fundamental flaws we're overlooking? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you're as excited as we are about the future of science, check out our next video on groundbreaking energy discoveries. The age of limitless flight has begun. Leave your thoughts in the comments below.